Hey, ready to start your first live stream using Wowza Streaming Cloud? Let's get started by going to cloud.wowza.com and signing into your account. Now, if you don't have an account yet, that's okay. You can always click below to open up a trial. Once you've logged in, you'll get that first live stream going by using the live stream dropdown in the top menu to add a live stream. This begins our five step process. In step one, we'll name the stream my first live stream and then choose the closest location to where we're broadcasting from. If you're planning to stream 24 seven all year round or at 4K resolution, be sure you select an area that supports it. In step two, we'll pick our encoding source and transcoder options. I'll be using a Teradek Cube encoder, but if your option's not listed, you may want to go with something generic. For playback, we'll use Wowza Player, so we only need Apple HLS for delivery protocol. And for our small test audience, we'll choose to have reduced latency. We'll also change the aspect ratio to 1080p, which determines the max bitrate for renditions. And for this stream, we won't record or add closed captions, but we can always change these settings later. In step three, we'll choose Wowza Player for playback, as it's the more updated option. We'll select a responsive size and choose no on the countdown clock as I don't have an exact start time. We'll add a poster frame that shows before the event starts, sized at 1920 by 1080 pixels. And we'll also add a player logo, 500 pixels in width, which we'll place in the lower right corner. Now in step four, we'll host the web page on Wireless Streaming Cloud and add some page content. You can always add the Wireless Player to your own page or even use your own player. In step five, we'll review what we've selected for our live stream before finishing. When finished, we'll be sent to the main page for this live stream. It contains all the information we'll need to complete our configurations to the Teradek Cube encoder. We'll use the source connection information listed. That includes the source password. The Teradek Cube encoder is configured in online. I'm gonna connect to the cube via its Wi-Fi and access its configuration page through the browser. Under Video Stream Output, I'll use the H.264 codec, set the mode RTMP, and the server URL based on our source connection information. Using the rest of the source connection information, I'll enter the stream name and under advanced settings, the source username and source password. Now that the video stream output is configured and saved, we can switch to our regular Wi-Fi access, return to the Wowza Streaming Cloud account, and start the live stream. When this is complete, I'll use the red button on the cube encoder to go live. Once live, we'll see a preview of the stream in our overview, along with stats such as inbound, outbound bit rates, and CPU usage. If we open up the hosted page, we'll see the poster image, and when selected, we'll see the live stream. When you're done streaming, be sure to stop the live stream. This is definitely important when using a pay-as-you-go plan. Well, that's it. Be sure to check out our different pricing plans at wowza.com slash pricing. Plans range from a specific amount of processing hours to 24 seven usage and even integration into apps with developer and service provider pricing. Thanks for watching.